Recently, I was treated to a behind the scenes tour of a rock and roll legend right here in Eastern Pennsylvania. Hi, Dick. Morning, Mike. Welcome to Martin. Great to be here at the world famous Martin Guitar. Tell us a little bit about the facility. Well, people come from all over the world to see this, to take the tour of the factory, to see the Martin Museum. We have a great gift shop, and we have a lot of guitars that people can come and try. So we get uh, 35 to 40,000 visitors every year. I'm really excited to see how the guitars are made and just see everything. Let's take a look. All right. So Mike, the, the, the museum is uh, set up chronologically, and this is our oldest case representing the instruments of C.F. Martin Sr. And this is a guitar that he made in, in 1834. So this could be like the oldest guitar in America? Well, certainly he was the first guitar maker to be building instruments in America, so yeah, I guess so. And it still sounds great today. Well, the, the, whole, the whole Martin thing was based on tone. In 1930, the, the guitar went through a, a tremendous transformation, changing from 12 frets to the body to 14 frets. This was done for a banjo player uh, who, just, who simply wanted more access up the neck, and that really is the, the birth of the modern acoustic guitar that everybody copies from Martin. The combination of the materials, the craftsmanship, uh, the design, and the tone contribute to guitars that are very, very sought after by professionals. Wow. It doesn't get any bigger than this, from uh, uh, Hank Williams to the king of rock and roll, all using Martin guitars. That's right. Elvis inspired a whole generation, and, and of course the Kingston Trio simplified music and, and, and things really took off with, with folk music. This guitar was owned and played by Kurt Cobain. How many guitars do you make? We make about 250 guitars a day, and in the course of a year that translates to more than 100,000 guitars in a year. Here, for example, is a beautiful guitar made with Honduras rosewood. That really gleams on stage. Dick, how do you start uh, making a guitar? What's the, the process involved? Well, after the serial number is stamped, we bend the sides, we apply the ribbon lining, we glue the top and the back on, to, and we have a, basically a body that we hand fit a neck to, and then string them up and, and they're ready to go. But it's really more than 300 steps. There's gotta be a lot of sense of pride for the people in this area. People come from all over the world to see Martin. There's a great sense of pride about that, there's no question. We have a great reverence and respect for trees. We don't like to see them cut down. Uh, when they do fall naturally or when they are cut for guitar, I can't imagine anything that a piece of wood would rather be than a Martin guitar. A piece of history right here in Nazareth. Hey, do you like the Peak TV? Well, be sure to subscribe to our channel.